They were going to be studying mathematics. The magic from the second mirror. Visual sound. Ah. Be your teacher for today. Scholars, you are welcome to MSI EduTech eLearning. My name is Mr. David. I'll be your mathematics teacher for this module, module one for uh, NTH 401. And this is three unit subject. At the end of each class, you'll be having homework in which you will solve some questions for me and you will send it to me via WhatsApp number rolling on the screen. And remember, at the end of each week, you'll be having evaluation test. Let's focus today's lesson on standard form. So what is standard form? Standard form simply means a way of writing long numbers, large numbers in a very smaller way. So to understand that, I need to give you some question. Take a look at this question. Express the following in standard form. 7,500, 140320 and 2.426 then 423.3263 now to solve this question you need to understand that this is standard form now let's take a look at the first one the first one is 7500 now to write this in standard form there's something you need to understand and what is that just this will give you 75 times 100 now if you look at 75 times 100 it will give us 7500 we can also write it like this 75 times 10 raised to power 2 how many zero do we have here 2 that's why we have raised to power 2 so this will be in a standard form but we cannot just leave it like this. We can turn 75 to standard form. We can write 75 in standard form. So what are we going to do? You can just say 7.5 times 10 times 10 raised to power 2. This will give us 7.5 times 10 raised to power 1 times 10 raised to power 2. So this will give us 7.5 times 10 raised to power 1 plus 2. So this would be our answer. That is telling you that 7,500 simply means 7.5 times 10 raised to power 3. You can solve it in different form. That is what I always tell my students. Mathematics is not a prototype. It's not one-way traffic. Mathematics allow you to think in a different way and we still arrive at the same answer. So you can use another method and you will still get 7.5 times 10 raised to power 3. But mind you, in mathematics, we mark step. We mark step, not answer. You might get the answer, but by the time I want to score you, if you don't follow the step, what happened, your mark will be reduced. So always know that in mathematics, you follow steps. So let's solve the second question. The second question B is 1, 4, um is zero three four twenty now to solve this question you need to understand something here and uh, i'm going to uh, uh think in another way just like as i said earlier now thinking in another way i can just tell you that one four zero three four two zero i'll put my point here when I put my point here, I put 1 here, I started counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this will give me 1.403420 times 10 raised to power what? 6. Just in a simple form, right? Or you can also say that this just in a simple form you still get your answer i believe you understand this right now if i want to use another method in solving this type of question 
I want to have more than one step. Just like as I said earlier, I want to have more than one step. So what am I going to do? I can use this method. I can just uh, say that this is one, two, three. One, two, three. This is one million four hundred three thousand four hundred twenty. So I can just tell you that this will give me one four. 1.403420 multiplied by 123123. That is multiplied by 1 million. So this will still give me 1.403420 times 10 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 to the power 6. So now I, I've created two steps. You can see now, we think in a different way, but we still uh, uh, get to the right answer. Now, let me go to the next question. The next question is, we want to find the, uh, we want to write this in a standard form. And remember, this is decimal fraction, 2.426. Now, 2.426, you need to be very careful here. If I want to solve this question, I will convert this to fraction. That is the first thing I will do. So, in converting this decimal fraction to fraction, what will I do? I put one here, zero, zero, zero. So, I remove the point. It gives me two, four, two, six, divided by one thousand. I believe you understand now. Now, if you convert this to decimal, you are still going to get this. So that has not changed the number. Now, this will give me 2426 divided by 10 raised to power 3. Because we have 1, 2, 3, we have 3 zeros here. I believe you understand that, right? Now, from here, we can now have 2426 times 10 raised to power minus 3. Because of this division, this power will turn to minus 3. I believe you understand that, right? Now, we can't leave our answer like this because 2426, we can still write it in a standard form. So, what are we going to do? We can just say 2.426 times 1, 2, 3 times 1000 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 3. So, this will give us 2.426 times 10 raised to the power 3 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. Now, you can see that this power is negative, this power is positive. So, I will still tell you more about this when we get to indices. We have laws of indices and I will tell you more about that. But you need to understand this standard form before we get to the law of indices in our lesson number 2. So, this will give us 2.426 times 10 raised to the power 3 plus minus 3. You remember, 10 is common here. So this will give us 2.426 times 10 raised to the power 3 minus 3 is 0. So this will give us 2.426 times 10 raised to the power is 0 or times 1 because 10 raised to the power 0 is 1. Anything that has any number or any letters that have power of 0. N raised to the power 0 is 1. Uh, P raised to the power 0 is 1. 10 raised to the power 0 is 1. Ten raised to the power, uh, 5 raised to the power 0 is 1. So I believe you understand this, right? Now, before we leave this class, I want to teach you. Remember, this is just the revision of what we did in uh, GSS3 class. Now, I want to solve more questions with you. I'll be right back. Now, we want to see how to change standard form to ordinary form. Now, what we did during our previous class, I mean, what we did before was how to express ordinary number in a standard form. So, now we want to look at how to change from standard form to 
ordinary form. To do this, let's take a look at this question. The question is, express the following in ordinary form. Uh, the first one is 5.142. 5.142 times 10 raised to power 7. Now, how can we solve this question? We want to express this in ordinary form. This is standard form. Now, to do this, there are two things you can do. And I'm going to give you the two methods. There are two methods we can use. Now, these two methods, it depends on how you understand Okay, now let's solve this. This will give us 5, 1, 4, 2, divided by 1, 0, 0, 0, divided by 1,000. Remember, if we do press your calculator, and even without pressing calculator, you know that 5, 1, 4, 2, divided by 1,000 will still give you 5.142. Multiply it by 10 raised to power 7. Okay, now from here we can have 5142 divided by this is 10 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 7. Now, when you get here, you need to be very careful. Here we have 5142 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 3 the cost of this fraction multiplied by 10 raised to power 7 so this will give us 5142 times 10 raised to power minus 3 plus 7 that's according to the law of indices I will teach you that in lesson 2 now from here we can have 5142 multiplied by 10 raised to power pardon me multiplied by 10 raised to power 7 minus 3 4 so this will be a, a answer but we cannot leave it like this pardon me for that you know we are changing it to ordinary form and this is still in standard form so that will give us 5142 times 1 2 3 4 that is 10,000 do you understand now so if you multiply this you are going to have 5142 one two three four so this will give us the ordinary form you can just try that by converting this to a standard form you will still get your answer now let's take a look at this final one the final one for today is we have 0 0.7883 0 0.7883 uh, multiply by 10 raised power 5 okay class now let's solve this question now we are changing this standard form to ordinary form so what are we going to do the first thing to do is to make sure that this is decimal fraction you can change it to fraction by saying 1 0 0 0 0 we have four zero here so that will give us seven eight eight three divided by ten thousand multiplied by ten raised to the power minus five okay now from here we can have seven eight eight three divided by ten raised to the power four multiplied by ten raised to the power minus five now you can have okay this will give us 7883 multiply by 10 raised to the power minus 4 multiply by 10 raised to the power minus 5 now from here when we apply law of indices something will happen here 10 is common here 10 is common here so this will give us 7883 times 10 raised to the power minus 4 plus minus 5 so this will give us 7883 times 10 raised to the power minus 9. But we can't leave it like this because this is just standard form. So this will give us um, 
plus. So this will give us seven eight eight three multiply by one all over ten raised to the power nine. Okay. So this will give us seven eight eight three multiplied by one. Give us seven eight eight three divided by ten raised to the power nine. Okay. Plus now. If you look at this, we have 7883 divided by 10 raised to the power 9. Now you need to understand that um, 10 raised to the power 9 means 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That is, we have 9 zeros here. Now, if you want to write this in, uh, divide this, we are going to have a 0. Point one two three four five remember it's nine we have one okay one two three four five then the remaining one is seven eight eight three so this will give us a final answer i believe you understand this right in case you find it difficult you can always uh, feel free to ask question i'm your mathematics teacher for this movie feel free to send your question to me and I will surely answer your question. Thank you very much. My name still remains the same, Mr. David from MSI EduTech eLearning. Until I see you next class.